Your money matters. When a $1,000 water bill appeared in a normal Heights family's mailbox, they couldn't figure out why it was so high. 10 News consumer reporter John Horn took the bill to the city and found this family may not be alone. Matt Thorne's backyard pool isn't very big, but he knew fixing it up last September would cost him temporarily. We reworked uh, the interior and then we had it filled, so that's why you can see we used a lot of water in that, in that period. But what he still can't explain is the water bill he got for March. It increased five-fold to $1,000. Which is an incredible amount of water. Yeah. I, 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 I have no clue what that amount of water looks like. He got a water bill big enough to fill this pool 15 times. The problem is there isn't even any grass he needs to water. Drought resistant materials dominate Thorne's Normal Heights property, like this mulch out front. We don't use a lot of water. Thorne hired a plumber who couldn't find a leak. He says the city recently installed new meters around his neighborhood and an inspector came out to look at his. They checked it and left us this little tag, apparently, and said everything's fine. Thorne then took to social media and found neighbors are also complaining about exorbitantly high water bills. And making matters more mysterious, Thorne just got his June bill and the charges are back to normal. I know these things happen, but it's a bit frustrating when they don't um, come out fairly quickly and solve the problem. Especially when the bill is much more than just a drop in the bucket. I'm 10 News consumer reporter John Horn, and your money matters. Now, the cause of the bill spike remains a mystery, but Matt Thorne no longer has to pay for it. After we brought it to the city's attention, a spokeswoman told us the city would adjust his bill down by nearly $700. We have the story on 10news.com, and if we get any updates from Matt on the bill or the leak, we'll post them right there.